All right, welcome back everyone. Today is a slightly different kind of video. If you haven't been aware of what's been going on, then recently a famous Russian grandmaster of Vladimir Kramnik basically accused Hikaru of cheating. So recently he posted, since been deleted, a snippet on his blog basically saying, some small new piece of statistics recently noticed a player had scored 45 and a half out of 46 consecutive three minute blitz games against approximately 29.15 average rating which is equivalent to 3,600 plus performance in those 46 consecutive games. I believe everyone would find this interesting. So basically it was quickly figured out that this was Hikaru and you can go look for yourself on November 16th and you can see that there is a, if you count, there's in fact 45 and a half out of 46 points there that he scored over the course of a day or so. And I will preface this by the way, this is an opinion literally means nothing nor matters. This is just an opinion of someone who doesn't really follow top-level chess, except for what I find on YouTube or happen to see on my feed. But this is just in case you're curious what's happening. There's already a few videos. Go watch Eric Hansen's video and Gotham Chess's video if you haven't already. But if you want an opinion from someone who isn't involved in it at all and just wants to share what's happening, then this is for you. So basically, he accused him. He's a top-level GM. He accused him of cheating and if you're not aware, Kramnik is known for putting cheaters out on blast, and he commonly does that in his blog on chess.com. And he actually recently, just yesterday, posted a follow-up on it. And basically, he goes through, he talks about a bunch, he listens to Eric Hansen's video, he says, and he's, over the years, they've expressed, he said that people have expressed Hikaru was cheating. He thinks, like, it's a coincidence, quote-unquote, he basically goes through a lot. He talks about like all the statistics and the low possibilities and how he's gone through and checked and there's super low mathematical probabilities that Hikaru has done all the time to say that he shouldn't be winning so many games in a row as he has. And he basically says, like, you can go do it to me, you can check me, and I would want you to do the same to me or anyone else. And basically he wants you to involve statistics and checking everyone. He, thinks there's been a lot of cheating happening, specifically Hikaru. So basically, it's Jan tweeted this out, and it became really big really quick, and Hikaru has since responded. He's made, he, of course, did a clickbait title with it, and it wasn't actually clickbait because it happened, and then he basically did a 20-minute video responding as well, basically saying, like, this is, this is not true whatsoever, and I agree with that. There's probably zero chance that Hikaru cheated at all because there was a lot of people involving statistics, but a lot of them don't actually know what they're talking about. And they're like, oh, it's like a super low chance. It's like a less than 2% chance if you win the 45 and a half out of 46 points. But people, what people don't remember is this, if you know anything about statistics, this is not a one sample. This should be calculated over Hikaru's tens of thousands of games over time and so the chance of winning 45 and a half out of 46 points on its own is a lot different than 45 and a half out of 46 out of tens of thousands of games like you're going to have runs like this where you win a bunch in a row and it's going to happen based on statistics because a lot of people don't realize that's not just a single sample size it's a large collection of the entire population of his games which he's had i don't know how many tens of thousands and the other thing people realize it's like oh they were this average elo and what they don't realize is first of all you're playing hikaru literally anyone would probably freak out you would poop your pants in other words if you're playing them and if you actually go look at most of the games you can see a lot of them were for example international master he played this international master a bunch in a row he played another international master, a FIDE master, and another, like he played these IMs and G FMs. I think he, I don't know if he played any GMs, but basically he responded as well with a Reddit post saying like the average FIDE rating was like 300 points lower. And if he was to play any of these in classical chess, he would basically destroy them all at any point. Like. They, the online rating is like 3,000, 3,200. Like these are strong, high level players. But you have to remember, compared to Hikaru, their FIDE rating and actual chess skill is so much lower. And this is also Blitz. This is 3 0, I'm pretty sure. These were 3 0 games. And 
it, literally anything can happen. You could just lose on time because they're saying like, oh, he was losing on time. He had a bad position. He was down on time, but then he would just win every game. And yeah, that's because he's a car, the regular number top two player of all time consistently against Magnus, who has won. Like, to me, it's just a little bit silly because like they don't realize that there's they involve these statistics, but they forget the fact that they're real people and the real people aren't going to follow the statistics. They're going to freak out. They're going to make blunders under time trouble. They're going to poop their pants again because they're playing Hikaru. Like, it's going to happen. Like, to me, it's just a little bit silly because, and Kramnik is, I think, a little insistent on this. A lot of people are commenting here, and he's actually apparently been deleting comments that he hasn't been agreeing with because, of course, he doesn't want people to disagree with him. But a lot of people are not realizing or they are realizing that this is a little bit silly and he's kind of going over the top and just calling out anyone by this point but to me it's just it's it's black and white gotham said it i think he either is or he isn't and it's pretty obvious that he is not it would be kind of ridiculous if he was because he's such a top level player and even if you've all involve all these statistics and everything it's doesn't change the fact that he's still just playing people and that's not going to follow statistics or linear lines of what's going to and what's not going to happen like out of the tens of thousands of games Hikaru has played like if you go to his last page of blitz it's like it can only go so far but if you go to his profile quickly like you can see if you go to his profile like you can see the fact that he literally has played 34,000 games of blitz like out of those you're going to get runs of random wins especially when you're playing people with one or two titles lower than you with a combined elo of multiple hundred points lower than you so for me i just think it's a little ridiculous that people are even making such a big deal out of it like it's pretty obvious that it's just a theory by kramnik and it's nothing more because there's literally there's not even evidence it's just the fact that he won a bunch in a row and people are just trying to use statistics to back it up but so to me it's a little bit silly but that's all i have for you today so if you're interested go check out it was eric hansen and gotham chess both did a video and hikaro did a video here on it you should go watch all of them so you can see all the responses i think the majority of people agree that it was a little bit silly but thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video